Well, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I have not filmed in about three weeks, so if I am stumbling on my words, just bear with me. <laughs> Today, I'll be sharing with you what I bought in the month of June. Yes, it is late. I am late on filming everything. I was, my husband was sick. I was sick. I had a death in the family. So, a lot of my updates will be later. I did get my nails done. I do have to work today at six o'clock is my only appointment today. But let's go ahead and get into what I bought in the month of June. And if you're new here, hi, hello, my name's Erica Ashley. I like to upload three videos every single week. I like to talk about project padding, makeup hauls, shopping hauls, shoe hauls, vlogging, using up what you have, all that fun stuff and makeup and beauty. So if that interests you, then I'd love for you to hit that thumbs up, subscribe before you go, and turn on those notification bells so you can be aware of all my future uploads. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. Alrighty, we, I didn't buy that much in June, but it is my husband's birthday, my stepson's birthday, my oldest, um, our anniversary, Father's Day, so the funds were limited, so I couldn't really spend that much, but we did buy some things from Sephora on sale, and then two things from my local grocery store, H-E-B. Let's go see what I got from Sephora. So, Bite Beauty, as we all know, is going out of sale, so 50% off everything. So, yes, they are no longer going to be a company, but I still wanted to buy some things from them, and I'm just loving my nails. <laughs> So I went in store and I swatched a bunch of colors, you know, what they had online versus what they had in store. And two were pretty close to, together. I'll pop a picture right here. So I didn't end up getting it, but I ended up ordering it for July. So I bought Tamarind. Um, I will put up the description right here. I don't know what it's described as. But these are the Power Move Soft Matte Lipsticks. They are 50% off, so they are regular $28. Right now, they are on sale for $14. And, you know, drugstore prices are creeping up, so I think that's really good for Sephora. Of course, the all-matte black packaging, the Bite Beauty. I haven't bought a Bite Beauty lipstick in a very long time, but I wanted some nudes, and I thought this was a very beautiful nude shade. I don't want to swatch it um, just because it is brand new. I want to wait to put on my lips. But that was one shade that I bought. I just went in the store for, I was going to buy a few, but then I just ended up placing an online order. Because with them being 50% off, you know, there's only a certain month number in store, a certain number of online. And I have noticed that some are going back in stock online. So if you're wanting a color and it's out of stock, just hit the notify me when available and it'll pop up. It, it did for a few, but I had already bought them. Oh, I guess I only bought three lipsticks. Hmm, I thought I bought more. Oh, I bought five in total, four for this month. Okay. Okay, so I did buy from Sephora. I guess I only got one sample, which was this. I thought I picked two. I'm pretty sure I picked two, so Sephora's really bad about that. But I did get three. I got Ginger Malt Chai and Harissa. Yes, I love the brownie nudes. If you don't know, hello, my name's Erica. I'm obsessed with everything brown, everything nude, everything red, everything deep. Um, I did go on a shopping spree. I'll leave a few of my hauls down below as well, and you can see my preferences. Ginger Malt, I know, is a deeper color. I wanted... Um, extra sugar buns but they didn't have it was very similar to one color that I had I can't remember what it was I want to say try but I ended up getting it for this month very beautiful dark brown color I feel as we're approaching fall for me August 1st starts fall so I'm gonna vamp it up in fall that is my favorite time of year so I bought one and then this is Harissa this is I think this is a warm terracotta little bit more warm nude I think it's just beautiful the packaging is very luxe very suede and unfortunately bite beauty is going out of business so you know very sad very sad and then the last one I might have a little try I need to look into um to have like holiday sets that I got one a few years ago I had minis 
like this small. That one's in my project pan, but I wanna say, I wanna say I might have a chai, I don't know. Who knows with me, who knows? But they all pretty look kind of similar. I will do a swatch test and um, first impressions in a future video, like get ready with me or testing out new makeup, stuff like that. So that is the plan to showcase all of these, probably around fall time. And then, just from H&B, I bought these Ardell Double Up Wispies. I love the double wispies. These are not what I have on my eyeballs today. I don't know what I have on my eyeballs today. And then I bought some duo glue. This is not my favorite glue. I know it's super hyped up. I prefer another glue. Um, I don't feel like, I feel like I always have to be touching up. But when I'm filming, um, I want to start wearing lashes. And the glue that I use is very strong. So it stays in my lashes for a long time. And I like to wear that one on the weekends, but as far as like just for filming, popping on lashes, taking them off, I thought this would be good. It's not definitely not my favorite. I definitely will not travel with it. I definitely will not go out with it. I do like to bring this with me for touch-ups, like my inner corner. You can just put a little bit like that, bring your tweezers. So I do carry this with me for touch-ups because my other one I actually have to use a Q-tip. And then I go ahead and I touch it up like on the go just by chance that other glue is not holding up, which is very, very rare. But that is everything that I bought in the month of June. Very short, very sweet, very simple. I didn't shop a lot. I do a lot of project panning, but I still love to shop at the same time. So I try to do my project panning to use up older items in my collection, not so much newer stuff so I can show that some love, so I can show my... Not so much newer stuff, so I can show my older products some love. But yeah, that is it. Let me know down below what you have been purchasing. If you're on a no-buy, if you're on a low-buy, if you've been buying everything in sight. Um, majority of my hauls are a lot bigger, but I created this, you know, little monthly series back in April. And I really, really enjoyed it to showcase what I bought. So if you like these types of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe before you go and turn on those notification bells. And I will see you in my next one. I love you very much and thank you guys for watching.